Uh, I'm Dr. Thomas Kim. I'm a cardiologist here at uh, St. Joseph Hospital and St. Joseph Heritage Medical Group. I've been in practice for about 19 years. Um, I'm the non-invasive medical director for both my medical group and the hospital. Uh, coronary artery calcium scanning um, is, a, uh, is a really nice screening tool for patients who are generally on the asymptomatic spectrum. So when we see cardiac patients, we typically think about those who have symptoms and those are, who don't have symptoms or are asymptomatic. Coronary artery calcium scanning is generally best for asymptomatic patients when you want to screen and determine their true risk because the coronary artery calcium scan gives us a score called the coronary artery calcium score that allows us to better determine how much coronary artery plaque there is in the heart. And that gives me a better feel and we as physicians a better feel for how aggressive we need to be about changing or modifying risk factors. So if somebody's on the fence about a statin or their cholesterol is borderline and you're not sure if you should start a statin type of cholesterol medication, coronary artery calcium scanning is a great tool. It's a simple test, there's no contrast, very low radiation exposure, and it allows us as physicians to what we call reclassify patients. And in patients who have an intermediate risk score, even though it's considered intermediate risk, their risk of developing a heart-related issue is roughly seven to eight times higher than somebody with a coronary calcium score of zero. And those with a coronary calcium score in the high-risk category are 10 plus, uh, 10 times greater risk for having a heart-related uh, complication, things like heart attack, stroke, death from heart disease. So. The coronary artery calcium score gives us a really nice data point to help patients determine whether or not or how much to really push risk factor modification.